Hello mga kawamat, sa video lesson nito, i-discuss natin ang application in real-life situation of logarithms. So, we represent real-life situation using logarithmic function and solve problems involving logarithmic function. Some of the most common application in real life of logarithmic are Richter scale, the sound intensity, and the pH level. In 1935, Charles Richter proposed a logarithmic scale to measure the intensity of an earthquake. He defined the magnitude of an earthquake as a function of its amplitude on a standard seismograph. So the following formula produces the same result based on the energy released by an earthquake. So the magnitude R or the Richter scale of an earthquake is given by R is equal to 2 third times log E over 10 raised to 4.40 where E is in joules is the energy released by the earthquake. Earthquake, the quantity 10 raised to 4.40 joules is the energy released by a very small reference earthquake. For example, Suppose that an earthquake released approximately 10 raised to 12 joules of energy. So what is the magnitude of a Richter scale? And how much more energy does earthquake release from the reference earthquake? So first, uh, the given uh, energy released by an earthquake is 10 raised to 12. So using the formula, we can substitute the release energy, so that will become 2 raised to 3, uh, 2 over 3, log ta times 10 raised to 12 over 10 raised to 4.40. So kapag ganito class, in lows of the exponent, in dividing the exponent with same base, so ang ginagawa natin, so subtract natin yung exponent natin. So since same naman yung base, so 12 minus 4.40 is equal to 10 raised to 7.6. So, ibig sabihin class, this one, papalitan natin ng 10 raised to 7.6. That will become 2 third times log 10 raised to 7.6. So, you can use your scientific calculator to uh, get the value of log 10 raised to 7.6. If you're going to use your scientific calculator, the answer is 7.6. But in our next topic, uh, we can discuss properties of logarithm. So, malalaman nyo bakit 7.6 without using calculator. So, but this time, you can, use, you can use and check using your calculator that log 10 raised to 7.6 is still, the answer is 7.6. Then, multiply to 2 over 3. So, therefore, the Richter scale is 5, equivalent to 5.1. In letter B, how much more energy does this earthquake release than the reference earthquake? So, the earthquake releases 10 raised to 7.6 and that is equivalent to uh, 39,810,717 times more energy than the reference earthquake. Next, the sound intensity. So, in acoustics, the decibel, so the decibel is the unit of measurement, level of a sound is... 10 times log i over 10 raised to negative 12. So when you say i, that is the sound intensity in watts per square meter. So the quantity 10 raised to negative 12 watts per square meter is least audible sound a human can hear. So for example, the decibel level of a sound in a quiet office is 10 raised to negative 6 watts per square meter. So, what is the corresponding sound intensity in decibels? How much more intense is this sound than the least audible sound a human can hear? So, first, okay, the given decibel is what? 10 raised to negative 6 watts per square meter. So, we can apply the formula and substitute. So, I is 10 raised to negative 6. So, again, so, applying the rule for the exponent, so with the same base, so subtract natin. Negative 6 minus negative 12, kaya maging negative 6 plus 12 na yun, kasi minus negative, so that will become positive. So, negative 6 minus negative 12, that is 6. Kaya magiging 10 log 10 raised to 6. Again, you can 
apply uh, you can use your scientific calculator and get the value of log 10 raised to 6 and that is 6 so 10 times 6 that is 60 decibels so in letter b how much more intense is this sound than the least audible sound a human can hear so that is 1 million more intense okay than the least audible sound a human can hear Okay, for the last application is acidity and the pH scale. So, the pH level of a water-based solution is defined as pH is equal to negative log. So, this is a hydrogen ions. So, it's the cons H uh, uh, in chemistry is hydrogen ions in moles per liter. So, the solution with pH of 7 are defined neutral. Those with pH less than 7 are acidic, and those with pH level greater than 7 are basic. In chemistry, we call it as, uh, uh, we call this as alkaline, okay? So, a 1 liter solution contains 0 0.001 moles of hydrogen ions, find its pH level. So, using the formula, by the way, 0 0.0001 is equal to 10 raised to negative 5. So, by using the formula, substitute lang natin, negative log 10 raised to negative 5. And log raised to 10 raised to negative 5 using your scientific calculator that is equivalent to negative 5. So, therefore, negative times negative 5. So, ito, palitan na natin itong buong to ng negative 5. That is equal to positive 5. So, therefore, the pH level is 5 and under the uh, pH level of acidic. I know, this is what? Uh, yes, uh, because uh, this is less than 7. So, therefore, this is acidic. Okay? Okay, so it's your time. Okay, it's quiz time. So I have two problems and try to answer it by yourself. So what is the magnitude in the register scale of an earthquake that released 10 raised to 14 joules of energy? How much more energy does this earthquake release than that of reference earthquake? Suppose the intensity of sound of a jet during takeoff is 100 watts per square meter. What is the corresponding sound intensity in decibels? How much more intense is this sound than the least audible sound as human can hear? So you can post the video. And after that, you can play it again to check your answer. Okay, so here's the answer for the two problems.
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.